Welcome to a bit of a cozy Pinwa Q&A. It's not cozy for me because uh, my voice sounds awful and I'm sick. So, uh, I don't know, maybe that makes me sound better. That's up to you. But today we're finally going to answer the Q&A questions. And it's going to be great and fun. And if it's not, oh well. Jeremiah Animations has three questions for us. What do you think of Inanimate Insanity Invitational? I think the show is very good. I love I, I, I. My favorite characters on there, in order, I think, are Cabby, Silver Spoon, and I want to say... I want to say Candle, but come back to me on that one. I don't really remember. Question two. What do you, do you think Teapot is going to get better by episodes? Obviously, it could depend on who's writing the episodes. Sam wrote episode 3, Carrie wrote episode 4. This was written before episode 4, by the way. But I think it all comes up... Eh, I don't know. I like Teapot 4 a lot. I like them all basically the same. I don't really have any larger or more minuscule amount of criticisms for each episode, so I think quality is going to remain pretty consistent. And three, who is the blandest character in the Optic Show community? That's a good question that I'm not sure if I'm able to answer because obviously there's a lot of characters who are just non-contributing to a show no matter what they do. And that's a... (laughs) I might have to cut that out. Um, Yeah, that would break the coziness. Uh... Not sure who's the blindest character in the OSC. If I had to give just like a popular answer, um, blindest character. I don't know, Saw. I don't like Saw. I don't like Saw. Okay. I was gonna say she's blindest. Super mediocre plumber ask, what is my favorite Undertale song? That is a, also a good question. I'm personally a fan of Another Medium and Finale. Those two are some of my favorites. I just like the full menu theme. It's very, uh, very, uh, what's the word? Jolly, happy, I like it. Number two, what's your favorite character in SSS that you think was the most robbed? Wait, what's the char- just the character in SSS you think was the most robbed? First two seasons and first half of season three, I think, have a really good elimination order. I don't have much of a problem with them. But then you get to episode seven's elimination, and that's where I get a little problematic. I don't think Pinky should have been out. I think it should have been Warpy. I have nothing against Warpy. I mean, I kind of do, but I genuinely think Pinky should have stayed and Warpy should have gone. That's just me, though. You can say what you think. I don't know. In question three. Have you played any of the Mario RPGs? If so, which one do you like the most? I have not played a Mario RPG before. I'm not a huge RPG kind of person, but... I have heard Legend of the Seven Stars was good. I like Mallow. I like Gino. Um, And the Mario and Luigi series and Paper Mario. I almost got Origami King... But I did not follow through on that. But I will certainly be telling you once I do play one of them, which I inevitably will. Oh, let's. Oh, another person responded to them saying another medium was the best. See, we have a person with taste here. Apom exclamation point asks, "Are you proud of how far you've gone?" I am very proud of how far I've gone. I've definitely stagnated a little bit, but I don't think I need to be like bursting in popularity all all over again. The last time that happened was last February, like the February before this one. It was a bit overwhelming for me. Uh, also, Battle for Barf Bag, that was pretty booming. And, uh, what other big boosts did I get? I'm not sure. Basically, the entirety of, like, my 100 subscriber to 1,000 subscriber range was a big boost. Because it happened in, like, three weeks. And I'm, pr- I'm pretty proud of the mark I've made on the OSC. I wouldn't say I'm a huge creator, but I wouldn't say I'm the, like someone people ignore, which I'm fine with. 
So, to answer your question, I am very proud. What's your favorite object show or object show character? My favorite object show, it's an eight-way tie. <laughs> so I'll just say the one that comes to my mind first, and it's Battle for Something Else by Vangs. And my favorite object show character? Oh my goodness gracious, that's a hard question too. Apple from Inanimate Insanity. Although, Eggy from Teapot does come pretty close. So, I'm gonna go with Apple for now. Who's my least favorite out of the original cast for SSF? So, that's the the first six. So, Warpy, Blueberry, Sticky, Gumdroppy, Really Angry Molly, and Pinky. My least favorite is probably... Really Angry Bolly. Like, I love the guy. I love all of them. I went from hating all of them except Really Angry Bolly to loving all of them, including Really Angry Bolly. But, I don't know. I just grew to like the other ones a bit more. Packy Seth, or Pacey Seth, sorry. I never know how to pronounce your name. Asked, three, asked two questions. What is your favorite Pokemon region? My favorite Pokemon region is Kalos. Mostly because that was the region... I grew up with kinda. I mean, I was alive when Black and White and uh, Platinum were out, but I didn't play them because I was like an infant. So yeah, Kalos is the one that sticks out the most to me. But it's based on France, so that's obviously a big red flag. And question two, will there be another season, season after SSS Premium or is it just done after that? I have mentioned on Community Post I do want to do a Season 4, so to answer your question, yes. It'll include all the original ones, all of the main 16, and then maybe a few more. So, get excited for that. Diamond Doodles ask, do you have any- wait, two questions. Do you have any, uh, any kind of unpopular opinion? If this is too vague, answer question 2. My biggest unpopular opinion is that, um... I don't know. For my American audience, hamburgers there are very overrated and I don't think they're good. That's my hot take of the day. Sorry, um, non-American audiences. Unless you eat hamburgers, then you could relate. In question two, what SSS character are you planning to do more with in the future? All of them. I'm planning to make all of them do something. And yes, that includes Cup, that includes Really Angry Bolly, that includes all the characters who are basically useless at the moment. They're all gonna get something. Sherbet Sailboat with two luscious purple circles asks, How do you come up with your OC and what is my favorite food? My, uh, my OC is actually kind of lame. Um, my original OC was a coin with a hat named Lunch Money. And I wanted to stick with a circular host, because I thought, you know what, that's simple and basic, so it's cool. And basically, I just thought, you know what, what if I made it a circle that's pink? Because circles are one of my favorite shapes, and pink's my favorite color. It still is, by the way. So, I'm, I drew a circle with a shine on it, thought it looked kind of cool. Gave it a hat sometime later, and shiny circle was born. That's also kind of how the name Pinwa started, because everyone started calling it a coin, fittingly. Sorry, the Pinwa, st the Pinwa name story is a bit less interesting, so we won't dwell on that. And favorite food? My favorite food is probably fettuccine alfredo with steak sauce. I know that sounds like an atrocity, but don't knock it until you try it, man. Mint T asks, what's your favorite color? Well, I already mentioned it, it's pink. Read any good books lately? Um, actually I have. I've been reading Speak by Lori Hall Sanderson. It's a really good read. I think you should try it, try it out sometime. And what level does your box fan usually go on? It usually goes on level two. There's three levels. Well, technically four if you count zero. And two, one's too mellow, and four is too... I mean, three is just too too awful, honestly. So, yeah, I go with two. It's a good middle ground. ABC slash, ABC slash SYTTRS. Who, have been who would have Shiny Circle picked to be eliminated in SSSP 10? That is a good question. I feel like he would have chose Gusher for the need of a gender-neutral finale, you know? 
that just feels like something he'd do. Some of the, that feels like something I would do, honestly. Rocky Mations asked two questions. Favorite game? My favorite game at the moment. Oh goodness, that's a hard question. Probably. Ugh. Oh, that is that is a really bad. Oh, not a bad question. I just don't have a good answer for it. Okay, we might have to cut out this audio. We're going to be cutting out a lot of audio, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to say... I don't know, I'm just going to be basic. I'm going to say Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm, I I do not have a, fav a unique type favorite game. It's not like Night in the Woods or anything. I haven't played that yet. And would I switch to Adobe if I had a chance? I would... But I would be so afraid that I'd be so stupid and wouldn't understand anything. So that's my main concern. I don't have really anything to switch to Adobe with. I have this desktop rotting in the corner of my room that doesn't get any use and would be way too slow to run Adobe. But I don't know, maybe if my room gets a revamp and I get some sort of desktop, maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it. Punk ask uh, two questions. What level does my box fan usually go on? I already answered that. And opinion on AIB. I can't really get into it. Uh, the characters don't really land for me. The jokes aren't my type of humor, I don't think. Oodle's a nice host, though. If anything, I like Oodle. WolfmanDude3000 asks a very good question. Can you drink tea? That is a very good question. And I'm about to show you. Cut to footage of me drinking tea. Okay, great. That is awesome. Uh, anyways. Medium Blue, the object show enjoyer, asks, When will SSS Premium Episode 11 be released? Now, I could have just ignored this, but it makes me happy. It makes me very ecstatic that people are genuinely excited for when my object show episodes released so to answer your question i can't really confirm for sure probably before summer 2023 i want to get it out before summer 2023 it's a very big episode it's a finale so obviously mango steen asked three questions what's my opinion on dragon fruit I've never had it before, but it looks colorful and unique. And that's all the qualifiers you need to get me intrigued. And what makes me feel the most nostalgic? BFDI 22. Don't question it. What shape is- they also ask what shape is the Earth? The Earth is kind of like a sphere, but kind of has like indents in it to make it not actually round. It would be really weird if this if it was a perfect circle. If it, if everything was a perfect circle, that would be really weird. Hexagon the hexagon asks, what is my favorite shape? That is a good question. I already answered it, I think. It's either a circle or an oval. I like the round shapes. And did you wanna be in a Mr. Beast video challenge? And what is the bin what is a binda type of challenge? Okay. Hmm. If have I ever wanted to be in a Mr. Beast video? That is a good question. Probably I don't think so actually. I think I'm perfectly content not competing in one. So let's just move on. So we answer your question now. Quest Spot asks, who is my Smash Bros main? It changes between all of the games I've played. I've played Melee, Brawl, Smash 4, and Ultimate. In Melee, it's Pichu. In Brawl, it's probably Toon Link. Either that or Wolf. In, in Smash 4, I want to say it's Ganondorf. And in, f ult in, yeah, in Ultimate, it's absolutely Jigglypuff. Followed by Pithra. LPO Animations asks, can you let my family go? Absolutely not. Dakota Flopped asks, do you put the cereal before the milk? I do not, as a matter of fact. I am a competent member in our society. 
Tassia last, who's my favorite Mario character. Uh, probably Toadette. I like Toadette a lot. Uh, am I funny? That's up to the eye of the, the beholder. If you think I'm funny, then that's on you. I don't really have an opinion on my sense of humor. And am I cool? Yet another question that's subjective. Do I think I'm cool? Maybe I am. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I am. I, I don't... Moving on. Charleroo, my buddy, asked, Are you proud of the SSS crew? And I already answered that one. I said, Charleroo. But, yeah, to, to answer your question, I definitely am. I kind of ditched you all because I deleted the, the Discord. So... That was a bit of an oopsie by me, but don't get me wrong, you, Peepy Louse, and the other ones, the ones I didn't fire, Milkshake Draws, you're all cool. You're all great. Uh, GC at GSC, sorry. Do you have monies? I do have money, but it's in a bank account at the moment. Radical Dryix ask balls. Chillager the monkey asks, what were you doing on the 12th of March, 1423? Now, that's a good question, but I do not think I have the memory of that. I have lived for a very long time, but my memory's not that great. I can't remember certain days. So, it's unfortunate. And finally, King Boy, the guy, the person themselves, asks, John has 13 apples. John gave Tom four of his apples. How many apples does John have left? Now that's a very simple 13 minus 4 equation. And that equals... Um... Uh, your mom. So... Thank you for watching the epic pinball q and I tried to compensate by not having that many questions by making it 17 minutes long. So... Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Toodaloo.